Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 28th, 2019. So happy Monday, everyone. Looks like we have an interesting setup here for this week and something I I hate, I always hate when I have to talk about caution because no one likes to hear anything about caution. By the way, please stick around. Uh, there will likely be some stocks that you might want to put on your list this week. Um, kind of keep that in mind toward the end of the video. So here we are. We we obviously have a really nice bullish run in the market. Clearly, we, we've got a nice bull run going on. Current trend is looking good. We've created some support levels in this move. Those are all good signs for the market. We also have to recognize the fact that we are in a downtrend, still in a downtrend on all of the indexes. Um, that downtrend is is still in play, even though we have crossed over some of these downtrend lines I've, I've drawn on those index charts. So we really are in that perfect setup where, where we have a, uh, a short term trend that appears to be overextended. Uh, pushing against um, a longer downturn um, in the market. And we have a massive amount of earnings coming out this week. Really big earnings, the big heavyweights reporting this morning. Well, not this morning, but um, all week, um, actually for the next several weeks, but a couple, some of the really big heavyweights reporting this week. And we have the FOMC. We have the FOMC starting its meeting tomorrow. They will make their announcement on Wednesday. We have GDP numbers coming out on Wednesday. We have the employment situation number on Friday. So lots of potential things out there that could move the market around significantly significantly so i would suggest a little bit of caution and the reason i would suggest that is i think we're a bit overextended here on the short term of the market it's really going to come down to how these earnings start to roll out if they start rolling out really really good then the market could certainly rally from there there's nothing suggesting that it can't other than we do appear to be overextended, but we can certainly continue that overextension if the earnings are good. If the earnings start to come out poorly, then we're going to have to watch very, very carefully for sellers coming in and a push down. Now, let me just point out that I don't think we have to collapse all the way back down. Is is that possibility uh, there? Yes, we could move all the way back down to these lows, but we've built some levels in here where we could easily bounce off of um, in the market. So we don't necessarily have to move all the way back down, but if we start seeing some poor reports, we certainly could see that move lower. Um, and, and by the way, that would be pretty typical. Um, it's very rare to see the market um, do a true V bottom and then just continue to move higher. Normally we see some kind of a pullback in here. So I, I kind of lean toward that, that there's likely going to be some more of a rest or a pullback here in the market. But um, anything is possible, as you know, around earnings events. But what we will probably see is a significant increase in volatility in price action because of these events. And we are also very likely to see overnight reversal gaps. And the reason that is, is because a lot of the big techs, some of these big heavyweights report after the market closes. If the market is closed and we happen to get this really good report, we could reverse and gap up in a big way. Same thing is true if they report poorly and they could real really easily reverse and gap down. So we're going to have to think about that as we plan our risk going for forward this week. Those potentials of those really big reversals that could occur overnight and there won't be much uh, uh, at all that we can do about it. So kind of think about that as you're planning your risk going forward this week. I expect the last couple of weeks have been pretty darn easy to make money. I would suspect the next this week may um, be a lot more challenging 
challenging with a lot more volatility in the price action. So consider that as you're uh, planning your week ahead. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY did break this downtrend as I have it drawn, but please keep in mind that this isn't the only um, way that you could draw this. If I were to move this line just slightly, you can see we have the potential that this downtrend actually finds resistance here. And the price section of the chart also suggests that possibility where we have all of this price action right through here, touching here and here and here and in here. Showing Showing us that resistance level in that chart. So we'll want to pay attention to that, not disrespect the possibility of that pullback. Now, once again, we have done a good job at building some support levels in this chart. As you can see, we've built a little bit of support right across here. We have support right down through here that could certainly hold us up if if we start rolling out really bad earnings reports but please keep in mind the possibility of slipping down into this level still exists doesn't mean that the market is coming off the rails or anything is overly uh, bearish here but any of these points could be that that place where we pull back to to bounce off of so don't rule out that possibility if we do get really good earnings reports and we start to move up keep these resistance levels in mind as we pop up and we start testing these resistance levels anything is possible up in there as well so watch those closely let's take a look at the queues the queues having several of its big tech companies reporting you see we've got this downtrend here in play and if i were to move this right up here we have broken out of that downtrend so we have this nice little uptrend in play we've broken out of that downtrend now we need to prove that we can actually hold up here It'll be a real question around these earnings. As you guys know, we have Apple Apple reporting this week on the 29th. We have Amazon reporting this week on the 31st. We have um, Microsoft reporting um, on the 30th. So we have some of those really big tech earnings, the big heavyweights reporting this week. And it's really going to come down to how they report, how this market's going to respond. So please keep that in mind. We're going to have to remain a little bit flexible, try to avoid a bias and really stay focused on the price action of the chart because um, we could see some really quick moves as a result of these earnings reports. And re just remember volatility is likely to spike up at different times um, and watch for those overnight reversals let's take a look at um, iwm here real quick iwm also in that same situation but this is in a better position i think i'm um, having broke nicely above even if i stretch this up here broke nicely above and held that support area above this resistance right in here but as you can see this morning we are looking at a gap down open we've already had caterpillar report um, earnings and miss this morning so here's one of these big heavyweights reporting um, a substantial miss looking for that gap down which means the diamonds the dow is gapping down this morning currently um, we are looking about a 175 point gap down there's one of those overnight reversals that i'm talking about where we just get that whip now we'll have to watch that um, watch that gap down make sure that that is supported by sellers don't chase it short. Make sure it's um, supported by sellers um, coming in following this gap. But we're going to have to watch these big earnings reports because we can expect some big moves to occur as a result. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX real quick. The VIX is right in that area where we could expect some kind of a volatility increase. So we have a support level here. We also have a support level here. This gap down this morning is likely going to pop us up out of that area. Now, we don't have to get overly worked up about the VIX just yet, but do expect a little fear 
to start to creep into the market. And that would just be kind of normal, right? We we have such a sharp pullback, expect that little rebound back up. What's going to be important is that we don't spike out of this area. We want to see that hold as resistance. So if we do move up into here, we want to be running into some resistance levels in here, uh, preventing that from spiking all the way back up because that could really bring in some fear uh, and some fear selling into the market. So let's keep an eye on the VIX this week and watch that close. If we take a look at T2122, T2122, whoops, is my biggest concern here in the market. And that is, um, we are truly extended up here in that bearish reversal zone and we have stayed up here for a significant period of time which continues to lead me to believe that some down move in the market is not only likely but highly probable over the next uh, week or so so watch that closely um, it will only be earnings and the FOMC that could change that and push us higher. We're going to need some really good earnings reports to prove that we can sustain this level up here. So watch that close. And I want to point out if, if I were to take this to like a two day chart so we can get all of 2017 here in view. If we take a look right here, all of 2017, we never saw T2122 reach this level. So even in the best market conditions, we didn't come all the way up here. So we are extended and we should respect that fact if we're watching uh, the market that um, at any time a pullback or a significant sell-off could occur. And it may be the earnings and FOMC that kind of triggers that move. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today. Um, economic calendar for the day itself is pretty benign. Not much going on here. Uh, Chicago Fed um, activity indicator, Dallas Fed manufacturing survey, and then some bond auctions going off in here. Please keep in mind on Tuesday, the FOMC meeting begins and the FOMC announcement will be at 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. So market could calm down a little bit in here, become really, really choppy as it waits for that report. That can also happen um, ahead of a, uh, that move. But because we have so many of the big tech earnings, I, I really doubt we're going to see that major calming effect in the market as the market waits for the FOMC because of the volatility of those earnings also keep in mind we have gdp on um on wednesday and the adp report um so and, and all of that is leading us over straight over to this employment situation number on friday and you can see lots of economic data coming out this week so that's going to add to our potential for volatility um on the day we have oh 70 79 companies i guess something like that reporting earnings today um so we'll want to stay uh, focused on those earnings reports and remember, make sure that you're checking your current holdings and anything that you're thinking about buying against that earnings report. It would have been um, pretty ugly to have ignored that, saw this great little entry signal here on Friday, jumped into Caterpillar and um, ended up with this big gap down this morning. So make sure you're paying attention to these earnings dates and uh, I'm watching that closely on how you plan your risk uh, moving forward into those earnings reports. So with that, everyone, hey, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click the subscribe button on YouTube. Click that follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank you so much for everyone who does do that. Takes the time. Guys, I don't intend to make money from these. I've been trading full time for 14 years. I don't intend to make money from any of these videos. My, my purpose for doing these is to help everyone be better prepared for the market to, uh, day, to have their eyes wide open to the possibilities that are out there. I know one of the things that plagued me for years years and years and years is my bias. I, I, I would 
my bias to want to go one direction in the market would affect me to such an extent that I would overextend or I would ignore those um, items that could cause me problems in the market. So this is just one of my things to, to try and help other traders. And if you see this as being um, good for you and effective, please do me a favor. Also, feel free to share this video with any friends and family. It's, it's free for everyone to share. So with that, let's take a quick look. Let's take a quick look at some charts. Now, there are some fantastic charts out there that are setting up, and we should uh, kind of keep an eye on those. First, let me just uh, make note, if, if we take a look at, at some of the um, uh, ETF levels in here we can see we have some really good signs starting to show up in xle the energy sector looking pretty good xlf starting to come up and look a lot better here some some improvements in the market have certainly been made if we take a look at xlk XLK, the technology sector, certainly big improvements coming up here, breaking down trends, holding support levels. Those are, that's all well and good. So there's there's lots of good reasons to have um, have some hope that the market is improving and um and and showing some good signs so let's let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater and just think well earnings are going to destroy us here that's not necessarily true earnings could provide us that nice launching point to move higher we just are going to have to wait for those earnings reports and not gamble on them let's take a look at some great looking stocks that have really good patterns um, setting up at least in my opinion ea by the way, this pattern that I'm showing here is what we call a rounded bottom breakout. Rightway Options members made a, a a good amount of money in the last couple of weeks um, on this pattern. It is a great reliable pattern. And that is we're breaking that 50 day moving average. Our shorter term average is moving up. We're consolidating in this area. EA is in a great position here to uh, potentially move higher. Now, of course, this is all going to be subject to all of these news events and all of these earnings events, whether we can find the energy to move up out of here but really good signs here in this chart to pay attention to. Also, it wouldn't be out of the question to, to maybe look at some short trades uh, possibilities here. And, you know, places to look might be places like the diamonds. The, the diamonds pushing right against a resistance level, showing trouble here. Maybe picking up some diamond puts um, or some diamond short positions to uh, hedge or protect yourself against some of those earnings events so there are reasons to maybe start looking at some a little bit of hedging uh, for the market so you'll want to keep that in mind take a look at a stock like Valero energy Valero beautiful round of bottom breakout looking great here on Friday popping up there's that nice little round of bottom breakout pattern you can see we're looking to open somewhere right in here I wouldn't be at all surprised guys to see this pull back and continue this consolidation in here a little bit longer so watch that close I wouldn't jump um, directly into that trade great stocks in all different sectors out there if you take a look at BBY BBY trying to break this downtrend up through that 50-day moving average trying to show signs of moving higher um, we have charts um, from in technology MU MU making a nice move uh, members of RWO um, right way options we made 30% on this in just one day after breaking this uh, downtrend and looking good. Um, really nice uh, potential stock showing some signs here. Wait for a rest or pullback in here on that chart. And this obviously will be affected by some of these big tech earnings coming out. Another would be NVIDIA. NVIDIA, really nice looking chart, breaking through that 50 day moving average, starting to move up, holding that level, looking really good. Again, likely going to be affected by these big tech earnings coming out this week and everything going on. So we'll want to keep an eye on uh, those kind of trades. AMD is another um, currently holding AMD, actually sold a portion of this on Friday for a, um, a 
20% gain, something like that on Friday. This is looking really good. And AMD, you can see, is looking to open right up here. But don't be too surprised to see uh, this move around. And let's also keep in mind, this reports its earnings tomorrow. So I will need to close out this position um, before that earnings report happens. I don't have enough profit in that to protect the trade. So lots of good potential charts. There's reason to, to be hopeful in this market, but there's also reason to be cautious. So let's consider that as we move forward this week. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits, and I will see you right back here bright and early on Tuesday morning. Never give up on yourself. Work really hard. Never give up on your dream of trading because it is possible. I'm living proof of that. Just an old carpenter that's bit figured out how to make a living trading. If I can do it, you can too. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you all very, very soon.